Give a shout out right now for noblegoldinvestment.com. That's www.noblegoldinvestment.com. So is investing in silver today a good idea? Well, Colin Plume from our friends at noblegoldinvestment.com, they think so. Our, on the national desk, he explained there have been huge sell-offs of silver because of the low price right now. Silver is the most useful industrial metal out there and demand for it is soaring for electronics and electric cars and solar panel circuits and on and on and on. The Green New Deal is increasing the need for silver. As industries pick up after the pandemic supply chain issues, the trend now should reverse quickly and silver's prices should skyrocket. So don't miss this. Give the team at noblegoldinvestment.com a call. And that number is 877-646-5347. That's 877-646-5347. If you set up a silver or gold IRA, $20,000 $20, or more, they will send you this stunning three ounces of pure silver American virtue coin. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous collector's item. It's three ounces of pure silver. It can be yours for free if you set up and you do need to look at your 401k or your IRA, your rollover. You need to diversify. You know you do. The stock market oh, is, you're, most of you, your 401k in the last year has lost 30% of its value. Some of you worse than that. It's time for you to get in control of your own destiny. Put some of your money into silver. And when the price of silver goes up, instead of losing money, you'll, you'll be gaining and, and protecting your value. That's noblegoldinvestment.com. Right. South Korea scrambles fighter jets after detecting 180 North Korean warplanes, military says. South Korea scrambled about 80 fighter jets after detecting a large number of North Korean warplanes during a four-hour period on Friday, the country's military said, in what is a further escalation of the regional tensions. In a statement, the South Korean military said it spotted about 180 North Korean military aircraft between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. local time, a day after Pyongyang is believed to have conducted the failed test of an intercontinental ballistic missile. Tensions in the Korean Peninsula have been rising Monday when the Vigilant Storm Joint Military Drills began between the United States and South Korea, involving hundreds of aircraft and thousands of service members from both countries, according to the United States. Shots fired at candidate's North Carolina home. The FBI have launched an investigation after a gunman shot into the North Carolina home of relatives of a Republican running for Congress, with the bullet landing just feet away from where the candidate's children had been sleeping. The shooting transpired back on October 18th in Hickory at a home belonging to Republican Pat Harrington's parents as he fights for an open seat in the famously liberal 14th Congressional District in a contentious race. The congressional candidate's daughters, aged 3 and 5, were asleep in the bedroom directly above the room where the shooting occurred, with the bullet coming from a densely wooded area behind the house, piercing a window but not waking the girls. Harrington, a fire firearms manufacturer and former Green Beret, has since come forward to assert he would not be intimidated by the shooting and that the death threats aren't enough to knock this Green Beret off that mission. Hedge fund giant Elliott warns a looming hyperinflation could lead to global societal collapse. In a letter sent to investors and reportedly seen by the Financial Times, the Florida headquartered firm told clients it believes the global economy is in an extremely challenging situation that could lead to hyperinflation. It added that the extraordinary period of cheap money was coming to an end and has made possible a set of outcomes that would be at or beyond the boundaries of the entire post-World War II period. The letter reportedly said the world is, quote, on the path to hyperinflation, which could lead to a global societal collapse and civil or international strife. The firm, which is led by billionaire Paul Singer and Jonathan Pollock, told its clients that, quote, investors should not assume they have seen everything because they have been through the peaks and troughs of the 1987 crash, the dot-com boom and bust in the 2008 global financial crisis and previous bear and bull markets. 
Iran is seeking Russia's help to bolster its nuclear program, U.S. intel officials believe. Iran is seeking Russia's help to grow its nuclear program, according to United States intelligence officials who believe Tehran is looking for a backup plan should a lasting nuclear deal with world powers fail to materialize. The intelligence suggests that Iran has been asking Russia for help acquiring additional nuclear materials and with nuclear fuel fabrication, sources briefed on the matter said. The fuel could help Iran power its nuclear reactors and could potentially further shorten Iran's so-called breakout time to create a nuclear weapon. Iran has said, though, that its nuclear program is only for peaceful purposes and that it formally halted its weapons program. But the United States officials have stated that Iran's uranium enrichment activities have gone far beyond the parameters of the 2015 nuclear deal and that the amount of time it would take for Iran to produce enough missile or fissile material for a nuclear weapon has shortened to just months. Xi Jinping warns Putin not to use nukes in Ukraine. Xi Jinping has issued a direct warning to Putin not to use nuclear weapons in Ukraine in China's bluntest rebuke yet to the Kremlin. Xi also urged German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, who was visiting Beijing, to push for peace talks, saying the international community should create conditions for the resumption of negotiations and oppose the use or threat of nuclear weapons. Schultz, the first Western leader to visit Beijing since Xi was given his third term as leader, urged Xi to put pressure on Putin to end attacks which have killed civilians and destroyed cities. Quote, President Xi and I agree. Nuclear threats are irresponsible and incendiary, Schultz said after the meeting. Quote, by using nuclear weapons, Russia would be crossing a line that the community of states has drawn together. Though Xi stopped short of criticizing Putin directly, asking Russia to withdraw its troops, or blaming Moscow for the war, his comments nonetheless marked the biggest public rebuke yet delivered to the Kremlin.